Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sergey Rybalkin. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and um, do a little quick rundown, some uh, quick review of the Breville, Breville uh, Grind Control Coffee Maker uh, Grind and Brew Combo. Uh, just a couple of things that uh, I experienced with that brewer. Um, Partly what I liked and didn't like. So here it is, right here, the Breville uh, Grind Control Brewer. Um, purchased it on Amazon through the one of the coffee Seattle Coffee Gear stores uh, that was was selling this machine. Uh, this machine. Um, Started off great, um, operated great, grind, grind, you know, grind the beans, um, pretty good up here. The beans are in the hopper here. As you can see, there's some inner water damage um, of the coffee machine. Um, the the thing to notice and the, the important thing to note about this machine is the fact that it has some sort of mineral sensor inside the water tank. Um, when the water tank is right where you fill the water tank is right here. And there's a red lever inside there that pulls up to the 12 cup max line once you're uh, once you're full so you don't overfill it but what I noticed when over when filling the water uh, with a uh, we use here at home we use a zero water uh, pitcher that um, you know cleans out completely all of the um, chlorine and contaminants from the water so you're just drinking purified water per se uh, with no minerals in it so basically what I've noticed when um, filling up the water tank I, this red lever would go up to 12 cups um, but on the screen it would show nine cups as um, as like there's only nine cups in the tank but with the red lever that indicates you're at the 12 cup maximum um, and with the um, I bought this machine April 21st and the strength knob had already deilluminated, basically burnt out. Um, so all in all, I believe that um, Seattle Coffee Gear or Amazon or whoever had sold me a three hundred dollar, three hundred thirty dollar machine that was either used or returned or something. Um, that didn't make me very happy because of the type of expensive machine that this machine is. Um, so I called, I contacted Breville Customer Service to their USA number, you know, sat on the phone for about an hour and a half and she had guided me through filling it up with tap water to see if it fixed the problem and filling it with the tap water seemed to fix the problem both on the screen reservoir reading and the red lever reservoir reading uh, but it, you know I we we're so used to drinking filtered water where we've completely stopped drinking tap water um, so, and all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good unit. It's a handy unit. 
um, that requires some cleanup after every brew. Um, but you know, it's a overall, it's a handy unit. It it's a grind and brew combo. But what we really didn't like is the fact that Amazon or Seattle Coffee Gear had sold us a un a used unit. Um, and, um, you know, for the money that you spend for this, uh, coffee machine, you'd expect it to work correctly and not have any issues. Um, so that was my basic, uh, pet peeve about this machine. Um, but all in all, it's, it's, it's an okay grinder. It's a good grinder. Um, for those who like to um, drink their coffee, have a grind and brew combo, um, this is the machine to go. But just wanted to give everyone a little heads up uh, regarding the small purified water issue that I had on my part. Um, so... I've, I've decided to return the unit back to Amazon or Seattle Coffee Gear or wherever it's going. Um, just because of that reason and the fact that we think this is a used unit since the light had already burnt out in the strength knob. Um, so we went ahead, excuse, excuse the dog barking in the background, we went ahead and purchased a Ninja. Uh, unit um, but all in all we also want the fresh ground coffee aspect so we I went ahead and purchased a Breville coffee grinder uh, that I'm yet to test out uh, for freshly ground coffee with this machine that has a frother on the side um, all right, just wanted to kind of let everyone know, um, my little issue with this machine, um, regarding the water discrepancy, uh, on the screen, and for some reason there's water inside the screen, and I can't figure out why, and this water on the screen had appeared after I was directed by the Breville representative on the phone to do a descaling process on the machine to see if it helped with the process. Um, but before that, there was no sort of water stain inside the screen. So I hope this video was somehow helpful for you guys uh, like it, share, subscribe until next time.